breaking news. Wrexham AFC have finally signed a player. It's not speculation, it's not a Twitter transfer rumor. This is the real deal. And we're gonna be going into this video about who the player is, what position they play, and what they are gonna to bring to this Wrexham side. It's been a long time coming, but finally, the first one is through the door. Welcome along to a view from the stands. My name is Josh Ring, and I am bringing you the latest transfer news coming out of Wrexham Football Club. Before we get into all that key detail, please drop a thumbs up on this video, hit a like. Can we aim for 100 likes on this video to celebrate the first Wrexham transfer of the season? And most of all, please subscribe to the channel's lots of Wrexham content coming up, especially all the coverage of the US tour that is about to happen with live watch -alongs. You don't want to miss them, and I want to bring you all the action, so hit that subscribe button down below. And finally, get involved in the comment section. How do you feel about this transfer? Is it a smart piece of business? And most importantly, Importantly, can you see this player starting or being a rotation option as well? Something we're going to discuss further in this video. So without further ado, let's get into who the player is and what this means to Wrexham Football Club. Well, we've had players like Alfie May, Troy Deeney, Gareth Bale even being banded around in this transfer window speculation fiasco, whatever you want to call it. But this name has gone under the radar. I was thinking that maybe a free agent would be signing for Wrexham in the next coming few days as Phil Parkinson alluded to the other day that he spoke to two free agents on a Friday and Saturday and was waiting for them to make decisions. But this is someone who actually, when you look on paper, is another very astute signing, a very smart signing and a typical Wrexham delving to the market, see what's there type of signing. The name is Will Boyle and we have just signed him from Championship Fodder Huddersfield Town. Let me repeat that, Wrexham have just attracted a player who, by the way, is in a prime age to drop from the championship to League Two. I mean, that is an unbelievable coup. Will Boyle, of course, being a championship player, has a vast array of experience. But only being 27 years old, this fascinates me, because Wrexham have managed to pen down a three-year deal for this player. A long-term thinking deal, and one for the future, and of course at 27 years old, as a centre-half, you can't go wrong. You really cannot go wrong. Will Boyle, of course, as I said, came from the championship, but he's also won promotion in League Two, and he did this alongside Ben Tozer at Wrexham as well, when they played for Chowton Town and got that promotion. He also featured in League One for Chowton Town when they got promoted, and then from that, he then signed back to Huddersfield Town, the club, his boyhood club, where he played in the academy and started his professional career. So he's had a full circle with Huddersfield Town, and that, for me, playing in League Two and winning promotion, having a season in League One and playing in the championship over 14 times is a big reason why this is a massive sign-in for Wrexham. I've mentioned that he's a centre-half. Now that's key for me because actually it was a position when I looked at on paper is somewhere we don't necessarily need to strengthen. But when a player of this calibre is given to you, it is pretty tasty. He's a left-footed centre-back as well, which is key in our back three that he plays on that left-hand side of defence. We know that Tozer plays in the middle, and we know that O'Connell usually plays on the right. So there's big questions about that left-hand side, and it definitely is up for grabs. And Boyle coming in, a left-footed centre-half, over six foot two, it's a big profile and a big player needed in that position. So when I sort of have mentioned, as I said, the, the names that play in that back three of Wrexham, you've got your Toza, you've got O'Connell, two players who have been stalwarts, and then you've got two other names in Tuncliffe and Hayden. Two players who didn't feature as much as they would have last campaign due to injuries and other reasons, and especially with Aaron Hayden. So when you look at that at four really good centre-halves, you think, why? Why Phil Parkinson? Have you gone for another defender in that position? Matt Cleworth as well, another name that's been appearing a few appearances here and there for Wrexham and helping out in that defence, has also been someone who Wrexham have relied upon. But when you play three at the back, Ideally, you need five centre-halves. You're looking for players who can play in at least two positions in that back line. And with Will Boyle, he definitely gives options in the left-hand side of the back three and in the middle. And therefore, when I've now looked back at this, signing the centre-half of Will Boyle's quality to play in the back three is a very smart piece of business. And now Wrexham's back line seems very, very tight and very assured. 
So with a player who made over 200 appearances for Cheltenham Town playing in League 2 and League 1 and as I said one promotion there. A player this season who has had a feeling for championship football and by the way survived a really tough relegation battle as well and kept up. And playing under Neil Warnock, a fantastic manager, he would have gained a lot from that. But let's have a look at what he has had to say about why he has chosen Wrexham and why he's taken two steps down to play football at a professional level. He gets straight to the point. He goes on to say this, it's a good time to join. I can't say anything that people don't already know about what's happening at this football club, but it's also a perfect time for me to join, I feel, and a perfect opportunity for me. Basically, what everyone always says now, they can see the project at Wrexham, why not join on this sort of trajectory, upward trajectory, and he feels it's a good opportunity for himself. Maybe at Huddersfield Town, he wouldn't be playing week in, week out, whereas maybe he feels at Wrexham, he certainly should be starting most, if not all, the games. Further goes on to say, it's an exciting to be part of. As soon as I knew there'd be an opportunity to join, it excited me. It's a club that is only going in one direction, and clearly, again, as sort of stated earlier, he feels this an upward trajectory and clearly knows that this club expects promotion this season. He's done it already with Toza at Cheltenham Town. Can he do it again with Wrexham, the Red Dragons, and get promoted from League 2 into League 1 in one go? We'll have to find out. So he seems quite a straight talking, forward thinking bloke and um, you know, being up from North in Yorkshire, you can expect that. And I do feel like it's another presence, another character that this Wrexham changing room will need. He's definitely going to add height, he's definitely going to add physicality and he's a brute defender. And I must say when you look at him as well, <laughs> he doesn't look like he's 27. I almost had to double check his age. You look at him and think he looks like a veteran defender, 35, 36 year old. But no, he's a 27 year old, three year deal, going to take him to 30. If Wrexham continue on that trajectory, he's going to add value experience in League One and who knows, maybe the championship one day for Wrexham. So let me know your thoughts in the comments. Is this a very good piece of business? Can you see why Phil Parkinson's gone after him? And also, furthermore, is he a starter? Who is your back three for Wrexham? Who would be your back three for Wrexham? Is it going to be Boyle? Is it going to be Toza? And is it going to be O'Connell as the starting back three? How does Aaron Hayden and Jordan Tuncliffe break back into that line? Thinking about the fixture congestion as well and all the games you have to play, there's going to have to be a bit of rotation there and as well as injuries. It's a smart piece of business and Wrexham, once again, you have nailed it. You have nailed it in the transfer window. Looking forward then, of course, to the US tour. Will Boyle will be able to go over that and experience that. But I do wonder, are Wrexham going to get one or two other names in just before they jet off? We'll have to wait and see. If not, it will have to be business either out there or when they come back. So what position next do you think Wrexham should strengthen? Is it in that central midfield area? Is it another wing back either on the right or left hand side? Or is it a striker maybe up there to partner Paul Mullen? Do you not fancy Palmer and Dolby? I'd love to know your thoughts. But without further ado guys, thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you've enjoyed the information on the new sign and Will Boyle and hopefully he will be a big success for the Royal Dragons and get them promoted to League One. I'll see you on the next one guys, thanks for watching, thanks for hitting that like button, and of course thank you for subscribing to the channel. Enjoy, wherever you may be, I'll see you for more wrestling content soon. ta -da.